welcome back to my channel. So today I have a package unboxing for you. I um, ordered a package from Nature's Garden and I haven't opened it yet. I just um, unsealed it here. So let's see. So you're going to be with me with the unboxing. All right. So I did. I ordered quite a bit of stuff here. Oh no. Oh no, I ordered the wrong size of mojito. Shoot, I can't believe I did that. <clears throat> oh well. Four ounces will be alright. So, these guys are castor oil. I needed to restock all my castor oil. Got four bottles of those. And then the rest... Should be fragrance oils. And I'm thinking that's all that's in here. So I'm super excited. This came really, really fast. Um, I do live very close to nature's garden. Um, I'm only about an hour and a half drive from them. So I placed this order yesterday morning and it came basically the next day, which I'm very surprised. I thought shipping would not be as fast oh my gosh I smell something pineapple-y so we're going to go ahead and sniff all of these and give you my first impressions and we'll start with mojito because I bought the small size of this one Ooh. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells lemony and limey. And I can smell the mint in it. It smells sweet. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. I, I, <laughs> I want to drink that one. Okay, and then I got beach daisies. I should probably look up the fragrance profiles on these for you. Let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Okay, so this for beach daisies, it says that you will smell the aromas of fresh spring flowers and green grasses walking on warm sands. Um, it has top notes of Asian lemongrass, dune grass, daisy petals, middle notes of gardenia, lang lang, and clover leaf, and then base notes of blonde woods, amber, and sheer musk. So I wanted to get this because of amber. I love amber. I wanted something sweet and spicy. I'm having a hard time finding a fragrance like that. Um, so, oh, this is not spicy at all, but it does smell clean and fresh and there is a floral. It smells like something I've smelled before. That smells really nice. I can't put my finger on it. It's some kind of lotion. Like a one you can get at the grocery store. I don't I don't know. 
That smells really good. Okay. Um, then everybody knows black raspberry vanilla. So this is honestly the first bottle of black raspberry vanilla I have. I am not a huge fan of this fragrance. <laughs> when uh, growing up in the 90s, um, this was the staple from Bath and Body Works. Um, honestly, I never wore this one. I had a ton of friends who wore this. I was always a country apple girl. But um, everybody really loves, loves this. And yep, that's black raspberry vanilla. That one actually smells more berry-like rather than the Bath and Body Works version. It smells, that one, I honestly like that one better than the Bath and Body Works version. Okay. Um, Bubblicious. So I wanted a bumble, a bubblegum fragrance. Um, just because there's some kids in my family. I figured they would probably enjoy something like this. And it's a nice summer scent. Um, I do pick up the bubble gum, but it seems really light to me. It does smell like classic bubble gum, but I don't, I don't know. It's, it's like it's missing something. It doesn't smell as sweet as regular bubble gum. I'm hoping maybe once I get this into soap or something, a lotion or sugar scrub, that the fragrance will bloom. Because I've had that happen where in the bottle it smells meh, but then once you get it into something, it smells really, really good. So I wanted to try Icy Shine. Um... <laughs> I've been hearing royalty soaps talk about this one and I'm told or I hear that it smells like Garnier, Garnier Fructis, um, which I love Garnier Fructis. I used to use that shampoo quite often. So I'm hoping that's what this will smell like. It smells like a shampoo, but it doesn't smell like Garnier fr Fructis to me. It does. It smells clean and very nice and very yummy. I do like that scent a lot. This is probably what I smelled when I opened the bag. Pina Colada. So when picking out these fragrance oils... I chose ones that had very low, oh, that's why if you can see my plastic is ripped right here. Mm -hmm. That's Pina Colada. Um. <laughs> Also, too, so back to Pina Colada real quick. Um, I was looking at weird holidays um, for this year, and Pina Colada Day falls on my birthday, which is July 10th. So I figured I'd make Pina Colada soap for my birthday. And um, Again, like I just mentioned, I did try to choose fragrances here that have very low vanillin contents. Um, so they're 1% or under with most of these um, because I just don't want to deal with discoloration and I don't want to use vanilla color stabilizer. Um, to me, it always changes the f way the soap smells or the fragrance smells. And then after a while, it only slows down the discoloration process. It doesn't prevent it completely. So I just want to try to use fragrances that don't have vanilla or very low vanilla content in them so I don't even have to deal with the whole vanilla color stabilizer issue. Um, there will be some in the future that I will use. Um, I have a jelly donut 
fragrance oil, which smells amazing, which has a lot of vanillin, but that's okay because donuts are tan. So the, in the cases like that, I will use, um, fragrance oils that have high vanilla content, as long as they are going to be natural colored. Okay. So the next fragrance I wanted to try was, um, Capri Olivo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, I've heard good things about this. Um, and I, from reading the scent description, I cannot really guess on what it will smell like. I will read you the fragrance description. Just give me one second. Okay. So it says it's a luxury spa fragrance. Whisk a Whisk away to the Capri Island, a breathtaking paradise overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Your mind will embrace this cultural encounter while your soul attains pure harmony. Capri Ol Olivo is culturally complex aroma of sweet Japanese grapefruit, fresh osmanthus, which is a sweet olive, and dew covered watercress followed by middle notes of rose, jasmine, and cassis um, to create a subtle ecstasy. Um, Capri Ol Olivo um, sits on a dry down of fresh amber and myrrh. Again, I really like amber. I do like myrrh. Um, I like grapefruit. So this one just interested me because there's a lot of things in here that I like that I am not sure how they would smell together and I heard good things about it so ooh I smell a green scent I do smell a little bit I definitely smell um, grapefruit, but then it, it smells kind of like, and not so much grass, but definitely like fresh cut grass and like citrus. And then it is sweet. I don't pick up the amber or the myrrh. Mmm, that smells really nice. That's very clean and fresh. I think that would be a unisex scent. Okay, so the next one I have is Raspberry Lemonade. Um, I do have kind of a theme going here. Um, oh, that's all I got. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of wanted to do some tropical, like, drink scents um, over the summer. So that's why I got mojito and pina colada. And then now I have raspberry lemonade. Um, I also got... I thought I got something else. I don't know. I also got another Coco Cabana. Um, because I do like coconut a lot. So we'll try that. But this one is raspberry lemonade. Mmm. And that smells just like raspberry lemonade. That literally smells like I have a glass of raspberry lemonade here. Mmm. That smells really good. All right, so let's try Coco, Coco Cabana. Hmm. It smells fruity. I don't. It smells like a suntan oil I used to use when I was a kid. It had glitter in it. 
because I love glitter. I forget what the brand name was, but it doesn't smell like Hawaiian Tropic, but it smells like a different brand of suntan oil that I used to use. It has, um, it's not pineapple-y. It has a strawberry, a little bit scent. In the picture, I see dragon fruit and kiwi with cocoa beans. I don't know. That does smell good, but that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting something coconutty. It doesn't really smell coconutty. Um, I do have a couple, two oils here that are repurchases for me. Um, everyone knows Love Spell, but I'm going to smell it anyway because I love it. Mm, yep, that's Love Spell. And then the other one is Strawberry Patch. I really enjoy this one. Um, it, ah. So Strawberry Patch is like, I don't know, a peachy strawberry. It doesn't smell super sweet. Um, but it does have strawberry helped out with a little bit of peach. Mm -hmm. That does smell really good. I wanted a citrusy scent. Um, so I got kumquat. And I'm not quite sure what a kumquat smells like or tastes like but I heard it's really good mm, that's exactly what I was looking for it's almost kind of like candied orange or you know like orange lifesavers or like orange gummy bears or gummy candies or something mm, that smells really good Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, Cause I have another one. It's like, um, it's by Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, and it's, it smells like a dreamsicle, I guess is probably the closest. Um, but that other one from Wholesale Supplies Plus has a lot of vanillin in it. So the one, <laughs> so the one time I made I made soap cupcakes with it and they turned brown because I didn't realize um, this was when I was new to soaping too. I, I didn't really know the whole vanillin thing. So I just put my fragrance oil in my batter, piped my cupcakes, and the next day they looked like little turds. They were completely brown, like dark, dark brown. There was a ton of vanillin and other um, fragrance oil. And in this one, let's see. I'm hoping there's not a lot. Oh yeah, there's no vanillin in this guy. So it says that it's... Um, does not discolor at all. Okay, so I do have two more. Um, I have Georgia Sunrise, which was like, I, <laughs> I like peach scents. I really enjoy fruity scents. That's why I like Love Spell so much because it's like nectarine. But this is um, supposed to be like peach raspberry, like with clean air. I pick up the peach and I do pick up the raspberry, but there's something else. It's like a clean, just a clean scent. Oh, wow. That smells really nice. 
It kind of smells like an air freshener. <laughs> I know that sounds wrong. Mm. Okay, and then the last one is Tayberry and Teakwood. This one interested me um, because Teakwood to me is a masculine scent. Um, but then it also had notes of like berries. Um, let me read you the scent description on this one. Tayberry. Okay, it is a very complex fragrance uh, with base notes of bamboo and teakwood with middle notes of tayberry, blackberry, mulberry, cloudberries, and peaches with a subtle hint of red clover and sweet grass. Um, so this one definitely um, may have piqued my interest. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Um, do I like it? It's not terrible. I do smell the berries in it and I do smell a woody note, but I also smell, um, like anise or <laughs> I don't know. Do they put anise in rye bread? Like it kind of smells, it smells like fresh big rye bread with like berries and like wood. That sounds really weird. <laughs> mm, it smells clean. It definitely smells clean. I was kind of hoping it would be like a little bit more of a masculine scent, um, but it's not. To me, it's um, it's unisex, and fresh, and it kind of has. There's a base note or a note in the back that I'm smelling that smells like something I've smelled before. I don't know. Honestly, actually, the more I'm smelling it, the more I'm liking it. I'm hoping that one will bloom when I get it into um, some soap. But yeah, that's everything I got. Um, I'm so sad I got the small bottle of mojito. Mm. But that's all. <laughs> um, I guess we can open my, not that this smells like anything, but we can open this. But thank you so much um, for tuning in. I know I always really enjoy watching um, fragrance oil hauls because I'm always, I'm a faux ho, as some people say. Um, yeah, I'm always looking for new recommendations on fragrances. So I hope this helps somebody out on maybe picking um, some new fragrances. Um, 
Again, I don't know how they perform in soap, but most of these all should have low vanillin contents under 1%, um, just because I'm trying to avoid that. Um, if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comment box below. And don't forget to hit that like button and, sub and subscribe if you'd like more content like this. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!